Good morning, Year 6. We are calculating scale factors today, and it is Monday the 11th of May. Our anchor question is, Dominic says a, he has enlarged his shape by a scale factor of 1.5. Shape B is his new shape. Is he correct? So shape A is the original shape, which is a perimeter of one length, two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters, and two centimeters, a square. So the perimeter is eight centimeters. He is then saying that his new shape, which is B, has been times by, or scale factor of 1.5. So from two to three, again, we can check it to square. So it's the same shape, so we know that is correct. And we know that two, times 1.5 equals 3. So he is correct. So the easiest way to check is to do a calculation of whatever we're times in the scale factor by from the original shape to the new shape. So 2 times 1.5 equals 3. So language you'll see today is scale factor, twice as big, enlargement, smaller, similar, words like that where you're comparing shapes. You can see the video now that will help you with today's task. Welcome back. Today we're going to start with something called a flashback for. You may have seen this before, but don't worry if you haven't. I'm going to explain how it works. There are four questions. The first is something from last time out. The second is something from maybe a week ago. And the other two are from maybe last month or even earlier in the year. The clock is for you to practice telling the time. So pause the video now and have a go. Have a go at these four questions to begin with. So first one, write down the ratio of apples to pears. So looking at the pattern. Question two, what fraction of the apples are squares? Oh, the shapes, sorry, are squares. Five miles is about eight kilometers. How many kilometers is 60 miles? And question four, multiply 3.8 by nine o'clock. Also have a look at the clock. Remember your knowledge of time. See so if you can remember the time and tell the time for that day. How did you get on? Let's have a look at them together. Number one, write down the ratio of apples to pears. Well, I can see, although it's the same pattern repeated four times, that when there's one apple, there are three pairs. So the ratio is one to three. Number two, what fraction of the shapes are squares? And again, I can see the similar sort of pattern. I can see a one to three, but in each part, I can see that the relationship is one to three. So out of four parts, one of them is blue. So the fraction could be one quarter. Number three, five miles is about eight kilometers. How many kilometers is 60 miles? For that one, you should have got 96. Number four, multiply 3.28 by nine. For that one, you should have got 29.52. What about the time? Well, the time on the clock is 20 past three. Okay, so today we're gonna to look at calculating scale factors. So you can see we've got two shapes in front of us. And last time out, we thought about, well, we could draw shapes by using a scale factor. So today we're going to have to work out what the scale factor is. We've got this sentence underneath. This shape has been enlarged by a scale factor of blank. This word enlarged is a little bit misleading. It doesn't always mean that the shape is necessarily going to get larger. It depends on the scale factor. Let's look at the top length of the green shape. We can see this. it has got a width of two. Let's look at the corresponding sides on the blue shape. We can see that it also has two and another two. Let's look at the length. We can see that it is three. And on the blue shape, its length is six. Do you notice any relationships there? We can see that each side length has been increased by a scale factor of two. See if you can have a go. Pause the video. Let's have a look at the first one. Shape B is an enlargement of A. The scale factor of enlargement is, well, 
Let's have a look at that top length. We can see the top length is 3, and the same for B, the top length is 6. The width of A is 1, the width of B is 2. I can see that each of those lengths has been increased by a scalar factor of 2. What about C? Well, the top length, the top Three, and the corresponding length on C is nine. The width of A is one, and the width of C is three. I can see that each has been increased by a scalar factor of three. Let's consider this. Is shape B an enlargement of shape A? Shape B certainly seems larger than A, but is it an enlargement? Let's consider the length of A. The length of A is four. The length of B is four and four which is 8. I can see that that is twice the size. What about the width of A? The width of A is 2, and the width of B is 2, 4, 6, which is three times as large. Let's think about that for a second. The scale factor of enlargement for the length was 2, but for the width it was 3. Does that mean it's an enlargement? Ah. Something I've got to remember here. It can't be. Shape B is not an enlargement of shape A. For it to be an enlargement, the scale factors need to be the same. Okay, pause the video. Have a go at questions one to three. We're introducing a new word now. The word similar. Rather than me explaining it to you, I'm going to show you something. So we've got shape A and shape B. I'm going to categorise them. So shape B is similar to shape A. We've got a new shape now. Shape C is not similar to shape A. Let's look at shape D. Shape D is also not similar to shape A. What about E? E is similar to shape A. So, question for you now. What do you think similar might mean? Have a little think. Have a look at the shapes. What do you think it might mean? Let's have a think then. Let's go into a bit more detail now. Let's compare the two shapes that were similar. So A, the length is 4, and B, the corresponding length is 8. This has been enlarged by a scalar factor of 2. Let's look at the width of A. The width is 2, and the corresponding length on B is also twice the size, which is 4. And we said these two were similar. Let's look at a different one. Let's compare A and D. Let's do the same thing. We can see that the corresponding length from A to D is 4 to 12, which is 3 times. And the width of A to D, ah, we can see it's been increased by a scale factor of 2. And we said that these weren't similar. Okay, I'm thinking about something now. In order for the shapes to be similar, the sides need to be enlarged by the same scale factor. Okay. But that didn't end there. C also wasn't similar. But the corresponding length from 4 to was 8, which is also twice the size, and 2 to 4, which is also twice the size. So surely that must mean they were similar. There's another reason. There's another reason why it can't be similar. In order for them to be similar, the angles also need to be the same. But the side lengths can change. Okay, that's what I need to understand about it. So, we've got two triangles that are similar. So remember, although the lengths can change, the angles must stay the same. The two triangles are similar. We need to find the length of A. Let's look at those corresponding lengths. Well, I'm looking at the length 4 compared to length 12. And I can see, well, how many times larger is 12 than 4? That's right, it's 3 times the size. So for the corresponding length from 3 to A, it must also be 3 times the size. So 3 times more than 3 is 9. Therefore, A must be 9. Pause the video now, have a go at the rest of the worksheet. 
Welcome back. So the rest of the worksheet is uploaded to the website and also been emailed to you. And have a go at the learning by questions as well. Good luck.